Well, is your home too risky to insure? For a lot of families around here, the answer is yes. Insurance companies just won't insure them. That's because of wildfires, but some Bay Area homeowners and home builders are taking action. Consumer investigator Chris Kimura gives us a first-hand look at two new innovations designed to save homes and homeowners insurance. It's dry in Bonnie Doon, but look closer at Mark Mitchell's home. It's raining here. Not from the clouds, from the roof and eaves. It looks kind of like a car wash. To explain this man-made rain shower, let's rewind to 2020. This home video from Mark's backyard shows the CZU wildfire sparking up. Do you know if any of the neighbors around you lost homes? Yes. The wildfire raged here, but spared the Mitchells' home. The house made it, but with significant damage. Today, it's fully restored. Wow plus one innovative addition. Those are the pipes to the roof. Those are the pipes to the roof. That's a sprinkler system attached to the roof and under the eaves to fight fires. You know, anything we can do to defend the house is uh, worth doing. This misting apparatus is the brainchild of a company called Frontline Wildfire Defense, created after research showed scorching embers can float for miles, then burn down homes and businesses. That was really the aha moment. Frontline CEO Harry Statter says this proprietary system monitors for wildfires and embers. Our software will detect a fire. An app warns you, then, unless you decline, remotely triggers the sprinklers. All the combustibles on and around the home are going to be saturated, right? And they're going to be wetted down to create an environment that's simply too wet to burn. Water at first, foam if a fire moves closer. This is the same Class A biodegradable foam that firefighters carry on their trucks. You simply don't need a firefighter there to apply it. Statter pointed out a four-day battery backup plus a satellite antenna. So if the power and internet go out, the sprinklers can still fight off a fire. So how much does a retrofit like this cost? We're about $10 a square foot. That's 20 grand for a 2,000 square foot home. It's not a cheap uh, product. For Mark, it's money well spent, especially since his family's insurance company canceled their policy. They're now in the state's insurer of last resort, which caps coverage. The Mitchell shoulder significant personal risk, thus the sprinkler system. That becomes part of our insurance plan. Let's try to prevent the fire. Now we're driving more than 100 miles north to Santa Rosa to show you another innovation designed to fend off wildfire. Though this time it's not a home add-on, it's the home itself. Yeah, if you're driving by the home, you would have no idea. A company called Devel built here, where a home burned down during the 2017 Wine Country fires. Devel says it designed this home and its others for fire resiliency. All of our homes are built with metal framing, so the floors, the ceilings, and the walls, and, and soon to be the foundation. So you have a material that's non-combustible. Case in point, no wood siding on the exterior. The metal just doesn't burn. It's not an inorganic material. Devel says its prefab homes are sealed for day-to-day -day energy efficiency, which plays a second role when wildfires spew hot embers. We have such uh, an airtight envelope in the home that you're just not getting the possibility of like embers entering the home. So what premium do buyers pay for floor-to-ceiling fire resilience? Devel just sold this home for $2.2 million, in line with what the real estate app Zillow estimates for nearby houses built with traditional materials. Now what about insurance? This house is the house of the future. Janet Ruiz is with the Insurance Information Institute. Insurers are looking for homes that they can give discounts to. But. As we've reported in previous stories, insurance companies sometimes calculate fire risk by neighborhood or zone, not home by home. When you have a wildfire coming through, it's a community level fire, and that's where we all need to work together to reduce the risk. Ruiz said if more people reduce wildfire risk, insurers might reassess some areas, even offer to re-sign customers they canceled. Back in Bonnie Dune, Mark has been asking. You know, we did make phone calls after the system was installed, and the, the response was generally, that's really good, but no, we still won't write you an insurance policy. Um, so, I'd like to see that change. Innovators like Frontline and Devel hope for change too. I think it makes sense. They're banking on a deluge of wildfire innovation, more homeowners buying in, and eventually, 
holding insurance companies' feet to the fire. Homes need to be built this way, this fast. Chris Kimura, NBC Bay Area News. That is fascinating. It is. Now, short of buying a new home or retrofitting yours, like you saw there, fire experts told Chris there's one big fire safe step that you can take basically today for free. Yeah, no charge here. Focus on the first five feet away from your home. Remove anything that might burn if an ember were to land there. For example, replace the wood mulch with rock.